Hello everybody and this is my updated 2014 planner video and I use the planner called an ARC. Um, it's at Staples. I think the official brand name is M by Staples and it's an ARC planner. So what it is, um, and I will link, I have another video down below that kind of shows my initial setup. Um, and then I've tweaked it over the last month or so to fit my needs and I think it's really working for me. So what this planner is, I've got the quilted one. Um, it's pink and it's the uh, leather-ish finder. I'm not sure if it's real leather or not, but probably not. It's um, leather-ish, it's quilted, and what this binder is is discs that um, it's kind of like a Rolodex, so you can pop the pages in and out, but it's a solid disc, and I have upgraded to the one and a half inch disc that comes with a half an inch, which was not enough, uh, did not hold enough paper for me. Now I also have just these cute little charms on the bottom, and I got them from Hobby Lobby. They were in the clearance section, and I believe they were originally in the jewelry section um, of Hobby Lobby, so those um, and since I don't have a ring to clip them on you can see I just use a paper clip on this first file folder here and I clip them onto the paper clip, the binder clip so when you open up the, the arc notebook there's some pockets over here and I just use these to hold some post-its my business cards and some things that I keep shopping lists on. These are cards, um, Project Life type cards, which are journaling cards for scrapbookers. Um, I use them to write things down on or just to decorate. There's a list that I already used. And um, then I just keep them there in front. It's really easy and I can punch them with the arc punch that I bought. And as you can see here, with these quotes here that I like, you can punch them and put them right in the planner wherever you want. And if you don't like them, you can take it out, you can store it, you can put it somewhere else, and you can see they just pop right back in. Really, really simple. Okay, so let's move these quotes out of the way. Now, the first kind of pocket that you come to is just in a um, plastic pocket and it's got pockets on both sides so in here I've labeled the front to do it's stuff that I need to act on in the next week or so um, like I have paperwork for my daughter's dentist that I need to follow up on I have receipts I need to turn in to work I have my time management notes that um, I need to type up on the computer and I also have just a little business size card calendar just for this month tucked in there just for easy reference. Then on the back side, I have stuff that I need to file. So this stuff has already been done and I just need to put it away. So this is something for my daughter's school, a project that we had to do and we did it. Now I just need to file this away in her school folder. So next comes my tabs. My sections are labeled by tabs that I made, and these are just out of cardstock from the scrapbooking aisle. And I just wrote on each tab my sections. And I just wrote with Sharpie because I was pretty sure that these sections are not going to change. You can buy tabs from the uh, from Staples for this, and they're just black, and it was just kind of boring. So I wanted it to be little bit prettier so my first section is my calendar section and when you open it up I have some blank forms here that are full page um, that are one day on a page so these are for if I have a lot of stuff to do in one day I can kind of break it up by time so I can uh, organize my day a little bit better and then there's to-do list over here a shopping list here and space down here to you know keep track of stuff and write notes and everything so I just keep this tucked in the front in case I need to use it and I, I should have said in the beginning this is a half size half of a letter size piece of paper 
So when I have a full size sheet, I, I punch with my arc punch the top of the sheet and then I just fold it over like that and it doesn't hide anything as you can see you can still see the tabs it doesn't hide anything but it still kind of tucks it away um, yet I have the full size page to take advantage of next is the calendar pages that I bought for 2014 and this is the M by Staples the arc system calendars so I have um, the first page is the next few years so this year next year and the year after and what I did was I just went through and I circled my the first night of my work week so I work seven on and then I have seven off so I circled the first night um, that I'm working each week so I can quickly look ahead and see what I'm working on any given week so and at the bottom of the page I just track um, any occurrences that I have at work this is where either I had to call off or I was late or whatever because they fall off after a year um, then I can just cross them off or white them out or something like that so for example when April comes up um, two of these points are gonna fall off so I can just cross those out and then I know I'm just gonna have five points on my record so as you turn the page you come to the monthly pages so this is where I use, what I use to plan future events. The monthly pages um, are filled out at the beginning of the year. I go through and fill them out with birthdays, any events that I know are happening, um, my work week, anything that I know is happening at the beginning of the month and throughout the year. Um, since I only plan one month at a time for big events and then one week at a time for Kind of daily tasks I use this monthly page at the beginning of every month to plan the next four weeks or five weeks or how many ever weeks are in the month so I hope that makes sense and I'm gonna type all this up in a blog post as well so that you can see um, so for example in here I've got birthdays written down in pink in red I have bills that are due that I need to remember um, I don't write a lot of my bills down on here because uh, I have another binder for my bills that I pay attention to and I usually pay bills every two weeks and I just know what's, what bills are coming up. So anyway, um, purple things are things for the kids, so doctor's appointments or field trips or anything like that. And then anything in green I'll write is my husband's stuff and blue is work stuff. And then anything I need to remember to do for that month. I will write down here so for example I needed to remember to call and schedule um, the kids checkups for January anytime after the 18th since they were seen on the 18th last year and then I needed to remember to schedule the dental cleaning and schedule some dental work for myself as well now the next page um, is this is still the same system that I bought from Staples the same pages this is kind of like to help with planning and I loosely use the left hand side for house and family tasks and then the right hand side is for kind of holiday or seasonal things so for example um, every month or two I try and clean out my car um, when I need to remind myself when I need to buy new mascara or toothbrushes because I don't like to use those things too long replace the batteries in the smoke detector new tax info folder for last year um, to take my wedding rings in to be cleaned and January is when Carter and Olivia usually have dental appointments and then um, beginning of the year I like to change my blog header and then updating family binders um, for the new year and then an example for holiday and seasonal stuff organize Christmas cards into my Christmas card book mail thank you cards update addresses clear holiday clutter take down decorations make birthday cards and anniversary cards for the year and inventory Valentine's Day decorations and make a list of the things that I want to get to, for Valentine's Day that I don't have so this is kind of a working list and I'll probably use this area right here to actually write down what I have as far as decorations and what I want. 
So that's um, kind of an evolving work list, if you will. Now the next pages you get into the weekly. So Sunday before each week starts, I will go from the monthly page and I will transpose things down that need to be um, on a specific day, like any appointments I have for that day or whatever. And then I will go in and write my to-do list, um, things that need done. So let me go show you this week because it doesn't have all the check marks on it yet. So this is the first week, um, I'm sorry, week five, which is the last week of January, starting first week of February here. So in pink, I write all my stuff I need to do, um, including personal things, projects, to-do lists, house cleaning, um, a reminder to look at my cleaning list, things like that. In blue, I write work stuff. In purple, I write things for the kids. And then if I had anything for my husband, so down here I do, um, I will write that in green. And the orange is stuff for my blog or YouTube, um, social media, things like that. Okay, and I just hold all this together with a binder clip that has a tab. These come in the store this way. And I wrote today, so I can just flip straight to today if I need to open it up for anything. So um, let me also mention, since we're going into February, I've already flipped my calendar to February. Let me mention this printout here helps me keep track of my um, home cleaning tasks. And it's another one that I have just folded. It's an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I punch the top and fold it. And I keep in the month. So this lady at cleanmama.com or .net I'm not sure I'll put her link down at the bottom every month she prints a cleaning list like this and it just helps me keep track of all these things without having to write them into my planner so I'll show you on every day I write cleaning list so that I remember to go look at that list and see what I need to do for that day and then after I finish a task I check it off with a black marker so that it shows up Okay, so we have every month of the year here. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through every month. And then, so my next tab is food and fitness. And this is where I track, um, I haven't been so good at tracking the days I go to the gym here because we have a big calendar where my husband and I are tracking it at home. But I'll link to this printable um, for tracking fitness. This is a vitamin and supplement tracker that I use, and this was kind of, um, I haven't used this very much either, but it's just kind of a new vitamin regimen that I'm trying. And if you're interested in hearing what I do and why I do it um, as far as vitamins and supplements, then um, let me know and I'll make a blog post about that. And then I've got um, my measurements there, and then a bunch of blank pages. You can get the blank pages at Staples as well. Now the next tab is my blog and I have printed out from the Budget Mama I have printed out just these monthly calendars on a half page so I can go through and plan see 2014 planner with video I can go through and plan my posts and I usually do that about a month at a time so there's my February and I've got every month um, after that the next tab is my Sweet Olivia business tab and it's my scrubs and it's where I put brainstorming ideas and um, sizes of the jars, labels, the logo colors that I use, anything related to my business, um, recipes, anything like that. I jot it down, um, price lists for things that I buy, um, sales. And then I have got blank pages. My next is events. So I'll use this to plan anything from my Super Bowl menu to gifts that I want to buy people to vacations. Um, another vacation that I would love to take. I don't know if that's going to happen. So I'll just use this to plan holidays, events, vacations, anything like that. 
And the last section is a brain dump section, which is basically anything else that doesn't have a category can go in here. So I sometimes use post-it notes for shopping lists so that I can just grab it and go to the store. These little bookmark type lists here, you can buy at Staples as well. Um, different things that I wanna start, projects to work on. And then I've got a project list of things I wanna work on at the house. That's just kind of an ongoing list. And then I've got um, names of tax attorneys to research. I've got songs I want to download. I have um, songs of this year. I thought I'd go through and write down some of the more popular songs that I really like from this year. And then at the end of the year, I can go through and make a playlist for 2014. I've got my yearly goals, stuff I want to work on for each area of my life. I have um, stuff for work. I've got things we want to look for in a house because we may be moving this year. And then I've got blank pages. Now, in the back, I have this little post-it um, thing. Uh, what's it called? Folder. And I can't remember. I think it might be Avery that makes it. Um, I'll try and link it down below too. But it has a little flap and I just put extra post-its back there. Um, and there's a pen loop here, which I don't normally use unless I'm at the store and need somewhere to put my pen. And then it closes and it lays flat when it's closed or open. I love it. This video is going to be almost 20 minutes long, but I love it. And I hope that you go get one and it's customizable so you can do anything you want with it. They make a bigger size, a letter size. I really, 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 really like this. They make thinner folders, um, covers, if you don't want something quite as thick as this, they make like little plastic acetate type ones. They make all different kinds of inserts for inside. They even make neon colored discs for it now. Um, you can put any kind of calendar you want inside. You don't even have to buy their inserts. That is all the reasons why I love this. And it can change as you need it to. That is the biggest thing for me. If I want to change, say I don't have any events coming up and I want to change this tab to just to have my spring vacation, I can do that. Simple. Um, so that is it. And um, I will link all these supplies that I have in here, all the printables, everything that I use, I will link down below. And it will also be in my blog post um, coordinates with this. And I will link that below as well. So let me know in the comments what uh, planner system you use or if you're looking for one um, and what your needs are for one. See you later. Bye.